Hello, hello, and welcome to the Pisces horoscope for February 2022. Best wishes, many blessings. Hope you guys are doing awesome. We are looking at the start of the new year, guys. Start of the Lunar New Year, the Chinese New Year, the year of the Black Water Tiger. You should hopefully be making new plans, having new intentions, new energy, stepping out of your comfort zone. Things are different now, and you're feeling it. Okay, so with all this Capricorn energy, wow, okay, it's all in your 11th house. So it's almost like socially, you're feeling almost like, again, in this comfort zone. And it's starting to be, again, a different intention, a different plan, you're starting to settle into the new plan, the new timeline, a little bit more. Okay, and it's making your brain go woo 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 woo. All the possibilities you're settling in. Okay, again, at the beginning of this month, you it's more practical. Okay, you want your plans, your goals, especially socially, to just again, you, you, it's like you're not quite ready to take a step socially here at the beginning of the month, but you can start to make baby steps. Okay. In regards to friends, social energy, whatever it's social media, new steps, something, you know, again, maybe stepping out again, maybe you want to meet people. That's kind of what it feels like. Okay. Maybe you want to start just, you know, just talking to people, you know, and, and, and it might be on technology. There's a lot of the social part of social media comes really much through here in the 11th house. Okay. Especially with all the Aquarius, uh, energy that we'll get to after a little bit. Okay. So be practical baby steps, you know, habitual daily, you know, nothing huge right now. You know, we'll get, we'll get to a new, you know, maybe we'll get somewhere later. Okay. But you got ideas. And again, you're kind of, it's this new fresh energy that you're like, okay, the future, you know, the future is wide open, especially in regards to your social energy and technology might be a part of it. Like I said, the fourth, go for it. Just go for it. You've got goals you might want some connection. You want some emotional connection, some new emotional connection for the future. You want it. You're craving it. Go after it. Okay. You can dream it again. If you really want it, you're going to, you're going to act on it and you're going to make moves. And by the eighth guys, we have Mars, uh, trining Uranus. You're going to be feeling just totally different. Again, you're going to be like, like your plans, you know, your goals, your little changes here, whatever you're starting to get into at the beginning of the month, it, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for you. Again, you might be talking to people, you might be really, again, like stable in your independence here, but making bold moves. And again, it's kind of like, totally different than you were thinking or than you would have planned, you know, like a year ago, if you, you know, told yourself, you know, you were doing this? No, you know, totally new, totally fresh, totally different than, you know, and again, out of your comfort zone, but it's fun. It's enticing. And it's the time it's the time for it. So justice keeps coming up guys, um, just over and over in different, um, readings for this time period. So I want to look at the, um, the 11th, we have Mercury conjunct Pluto. And again, these are steady, stable, moves that are going to equal big long-term results. Okay. This is social energy. This is making connections. Okay. And it doesn't have to be that, oh, you know, we're meeting, you know, this is a groups of, it could be groups of people. It could be groups on social media, you know, learning, making connections, but you're really interested in getting these connections and you're all about it and it's happening. It's happening for you. Okay. And again, the little things can build up to, it's like, it's almost like you're going to be building yourself a system, you know, I mean, we all need a support system. So you're making changes and it's expanding. So that's good, you know, and it's, it's good to make different friends from different, you know, pathways and acts, uh, walks of life. It's almost like you're just getting out there and being a social butterfly. 
Okay, so on the 16th, Venus conjunct um, Mars, and this is kind of a refocus, recommittal to stepping out there, you know, again, putting yourself out there in some way, recommitting, and even maybe, again, changing things as you go is big. If you have, you know, if you're learning things, you're going to be making changes and you should be learning things regularly, especially about your goals and about your plans. And you're, you've got, you know, out of its big plans here for the future, but they're different. They're new. They're fresh plans. You're out of the box you used to be in. And again, there's this renewal. It's a, it's kind of stimulating this emotional energy in you. You know, it's almost like you're a kid again. You're just hopeful about the future, darn it. And doesn't it feel good? Keep getting tense, guys. I love this cycle. You really get to learn stuff. You really get to move on and make, you know, active steps towards your future. And it feels so good for you. So anyway, it's kind of like getting out of this. You know, you know it's all a cycle. You go through this this whole process and it all follows the zodiac. You know, it's just like go through this healing and then you change and you grow and that's what's happening here and it's really affecting your goals for the future so with uh mars and capricorn of course still in your 11th house um on the 23rd sextile neptune um i feel like you're really getting some results and i feel like you're really in a way i know this doesn't look like it you're really happy with the results in a way you're still holding on to some like almost like fear and you're not like the most social person. So with all the social energy, you kind of almost like come through these cycles of, uh, you know, hiding and, and you're not sure if you want to take these steps, you're going to go back in the comfort zone for a while. And then, you know, it's like, no, we're coming back to it again. Okay. So again, 16th, you have like this refocus, on these plans, these goals, these, again, you kind of dip, dipped your toe in earlier. You had some fun with it. You maybe took a break and you're coming back to being a little bit more social again, um, again, by the 16th. And then, you know, I'm feeling passionate about being social and passionate about the future at least. So, um, you know, even if you're not totally feeling social, you're going to be excited about the future. And again, on the 16th. So the 23rd, I think we talked about Mars, sextile, Neptune, happy with the results happy with the you know the action that has came you know what has come what is about to come enthusiasm excitement i love this for you the 24th venus uh, still in capricorn sextile neptune again your creative juices are have flowed even more from you know all of these good results that you've got so you're just even more inspired more ready again to make more changes for the future so on the back to the fourth we want to talk about our aquarius energy now we've been talking about capricorn in the 11th house this whole time back to the fourth we've got sun conjunct saturn so this is a very curious energy very um looking for these new opportunities Okay, looking for falling into changing your, like if something is a synchronicity at this time, you will change your action in the middle, mid step, you know, so that you can go along with the synchronicity. This is, you know, again, very curious about spirituality, about healing, about, um, you know, and again, taking active steps towards your spirituality and towards your healing and towards learning, you know, towards working, doing this, doing the, um, honestly doing some healing work here, really lucky. It's just a perfect time for it. And you might synchronistically even just come to some spiritual healing at this time. Okay. So, and the 14th, we've got sun square Neptune again, it's a dreamy, you know, 12th house energy here uh, with Neptune making it extra, you know, kind of almost chill, relaxed, again, just all about the inner healing and the subconscious. So we keep getting these wands. It's like, if it's like, be careful, you know, cause if you are really, um, what do you call it? Uh, stuffing stuff down and really just being unaware of the subconscious, it can just come out as anger and, you know, being really annoyed all the time and, and resentful and things like that. And you really got to be careful with that energy because it can cause illness. So again, this is a time for healing. Okay. Um, it's like, don't lose that, um, enthusiasm that we had, um, 
or that, you know, again, it's back and forth and back and forth. And this 14th energy is kind of in the middle of one of those, you know, we get some results. And then um, by the 16th, we have to refocus. But by the 14th here, it's like, hmm, you know, we might be feeling, you know, almost blocked in a way um, from some of this like the emotion, you know, is, is being blocked and, or the emotional healing is being, has been blocked. You have, you have not followed through or you need to follow through. So, you know, again, shadow work, inner child healing. I've got the whole program here. Um, the Aloha switch program, or you can just go to shadow work. Um, but it's all there in uh, the playlist. So 14th is also the start of Aquarius, uh, Mercury in Aquarius. And again, this is, the beginning of like this new fresh outlook and it's kind of like a healing that I think can actually quite affect you in your daily life and your habits and even could affect, you know, your, your money and the way you do, you know, the way you do life really. Uh, it's kind of like getting a, like a little change will make a big result, getting a grip on something here, getting a handle on something. Okay. Get, and it's like a mental, outlook like you're overcoming the, some of this whether it's anger or whatever the you know this was this out almost like outburst of emotion coming through and it can be too confident you know or striving for perfection again being you know like too critical and um things like that but again little changes focus on what makes you happy okay You know, it is a time where people can fall into kind of, you know, again, this kind of sadness, madness, whatever, you know, it is. But again, it's about finding the little things that you can do every day. It's about the habits that add up that really do make you feel, you know, one certain way or another. And part of this is your emotional and subconscious energy. Again, we can't just stuff down emotions. We think we're realizing that. So again, we're trying to change. And I really, again, recommend shadow work. Um, any kind of healing work that you do, just relaxing, meditation on the 14th. And again, it'll be a good start into this Aquarius season where we're all about this whole fresh restart spiritually and fresh, you know, reset. We're let, we're really truly emotionally going to get some closure during this, you know, with all of this Aquarius energy in our 12th house. So again, Mars into Aquarius for the next few weeks. There's this new fresh restart energy when it comes to, again, your spiritual healing. It's like you're, you're, you're getting on with it. You're getting deeper into some of this really, you know, subconscious, uh, you know, emotions and things that, that needed to be worked out and, and dealt with. And, you know, it's a really good time. It's a really good time to do that. Okay. And again, the more proactive you are with shadow work, the better the whole process will always go. Okay. So beware also on the 24th, there is the potential for some shadow energy to come out with this Mercury square Uranus. And there's like, you know, overthinking definitely possible. The mind is kind of playing tricks on us or doing something, you know, a little bit different, you know, could be some like paranoia or, you know, just almost like, It, it could be like, you know, you're too, you're just almost just like want to be alone and, or should be maybe alone here. Just want to like unplug, plug the mind off and get into, you know, dealing again with that subconscious realm because that's where the energy needs to be. And that's where, you know, again, you might be feeling different um, night and day. It might be really different than you normally feel. So you're going to want to pay some attention to that side of yourself again even if it's against your comfort zone or out of your comfort zone so again this this shadow is going to come out it's going to have to be dealt with one way or the other so again the more proactive you can be early on in the month going to be better okay for the whole month so in the 16th we didn't talk about full moon in leo in your sixth house might be feeling you know very expressive around the home around the health like cooking cleaning caring for um you know 
the, the household and um, it, it, this is, could also really kind of is coming through as work here too because it can be your work habits and you know you're you might just there might be drama you know at work um, but I think it's kind of an opportunity here for you and it's almost like a time to like express yourself again you could express yourself through your work or through your cooking or you know any kind of thing you're working on and again especially if it's like something like you do every single day um those like being dramatic and, and getting into that and you know, it's like dancing for exercise and like enjoying yourself while you cook and and care for the little ones or whatever um just being really dramatic and expressive and it can be almost kind of like a fun, rewarding day at home, taking care, you know, tidying, again, leading, you know, doing those and even just like getting, um, yeah, I don't know, you know, it could be just be careful about too, like being too, too dramatic, possibly at work. Okay. So on the 17th, we've got Jupiter sextile Uranus in your first house. So this is, you know, we're starting to get into more of a Pisces season energy. Okay. You want to try to stay optimistic about the next year, you know, the next month, the next 10 years, you know, and, you know, I know you've had issues. I know you're maybe having issues. There's possible darkness kind of that comes in, but it's very, if you can understand a lot of it's seasonal, um, you know, seasonal depressive that can come through if it's something like that, or, you know, it's just temporary, whatever it is, and it, it too shall pass. So again, it's kind of getting back into that you know, understanding of how far you've come, the healing that you're doing, the things you've kind of overcome here. And yeah, so it's a, it's a new year. We're coming up on a new year, a new you here. Um, we have, yeah, Jupiter, sextile Uranus. So you're going to be maybe on the 17th, just like dreaming about, you know, whatever's going on is making you dream of a different person, of a different you. And then as you move on through um, Pisces season, again, happy, you know, early birthday here. Um, sun, you know, moving into Pisces on the 18th. We've got your birthday season. We've got, again, this new idea of what we're going to do in the future. And it's like we go through these cycles of being really optimistic and then almost losing it, you know, and then go being optimistic again about the future and then losing it again. And, you know, we can't let our personal issues weigh us down from the past. We have to live life in the now. And that's kind of what this is about is being present with yourself, allowing your emotions to come through, um, understanding that all emotions are, are good. Even if you're having a so-called negative emotion, you need to feel it at that time for a reason. So allow yourself, you know, to go through it and almost embrace it. And you take away like the fear and the power and the angst and the anxiety surrounding that and you just get the lesson get the good and move on and that's what we're doing here is a lot of that emotional healing is making us a new person and in Pisces season you know it's going to be all about this new you that has emerged and that will be continuing to emerge but we'll talk about that later because we'll talk about Pisces season soon anyway gotta go talk to you soon much love many blessings bye